Hey everyone, so today's question is, why do you think anxiety has gone up since the COVID pandemic hit? I mean, everyone's feeling it, right? You're seeing it with people around you, especially young people. I read a stat recently from the US Surgeon General Vivek Murthy that um, suicide attempts among adolescent girls has gone up by over 50% since 2019 and by 4% among teenage boys since the same year. And anxiety and depression rates have nearly doubled among the youth. I think there's 25% of young people in America suffering through depression and something like 20% suffering through anxiety. This is a significant increase from previous years. So what is it about the COVID pandemic that's making all these things worse? Is there a hidden mental health pandemic as well? I think it's a very good, uh, you know, it's a very good uh, chance. Because the thing is, uh, it's like like somebody angered uh, like mental health, and you know, like it's like come back like punches and kick us in the gut, because uh, you know till now you're like every like, mental health doesn't exist and all those things, and then like now it's like literally forcing you to admit that okay, like mental health is real. Okay, 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 I, like and. Uh, you know, there's like lots of things that made it worse, right? With anxiety, especially. For example, uh, you know, like for people in college, you know, like finding jobs is very hard now. Uh, you know, they had like a lot of fear with like, you know, how, how are they going to deal with it? Uh, like, what's that going to be like? Can I even do my job in like a COVID uh, world where if I can't meet people, then like, you know, like, how's, uh, like how's my work going to be different? Uh, like, is my work going to exist? And you know, like, uh, like finance uh, went down a lot, you know, like because of COVID. So, like, you know, like uh, that uh, uh, obviously had impacts. And then, you know, like uh, because of lockdowns, you know, being stuck, you know, stuck in a, like, you know, a different country, or uh, even, you know, like people who, who always live like in the same country, you know, like let's say, like, you know, like they're poor, where, you know, they need daily wages to, you know, like uh, live. And they're like, their jobs, you know, sort of go down. A lot of local shops, you know, like uh, they're not able to stay because of COVID. And uh, the impact of it is like, it's not just like anxiety with the, uh, like it's like disproportionate to the situation. Like uh, the whole situation is like, uh, for the lack of better, a better word, like massacred. And, you know, like uh, they just have to like, you know, deal with it. He actually just uh, wants to question here. So are you saying it's because the risks have gone up that anxieties have gone up as well? It's, I mean, yeah, I would say it's a proportionate response. Uh, I would say it's uh, more to the sense of, you know, like they have no idea like what's going to happen. And like, it's something that they have not gone through. It's not like everybody has gone through a pandemic, right? It's like pandemic is like uh, a situation that, uh, that happens very rarely. Uh, the last time I remember was like the Spanish flu. So, uh, oh, you remember the Spanish flu? Really? I, mean, I remember it uh, in terms of you know, like reading about it, right? So, uh, yeah, so not everybody has gone through uh, a pandemic situation and you know, like a worldwide pandemic situation. So, like, you know, like there's a lot of like new things uh, here. Even like the best countries of the whole dealing with it, like, have had to uh, face consequences. So, yeah. Well, to also answer your question, Deepak, I would say that there are still the same ongoing problems that there were in 2019 in the world. A lot of things haven't changed, but uh, COVID-19 is at the forefront of all media coverage, um, most places, and it is having uh, the most visible effects and changes in the way we live our lives. Like wearing masks in places, traveling differently, um, needing to make reservations, having to get COVID tests before traveling. There's a lot of changes that COVID has made in our life. And that constant presence makes it uh, more prevalent and changes related to COVID can then uh, cause a lot of anxiety related um, issues because uh, I actually covered a lot of them but on the health side of things people have been told that masks keep us safe and now with masks mandates changing in certain countries that can cause anxiety for people as to am I still going to be safe when people stop wearing masks some people who are very anxious about it may continue wearing their masks because they don't feel safe yet uh, people have adapted new practices like washing hands. We see hand sanitizers uh, stations everywhere. We see sanitizing wipes being used. But at some point, if when we stop using that, 
people might feel anxious about, are we still going to be as healthy? Are we still going to be as safe when those kind of health measures change? And there is a lot of uncertainty about how are we going to get out of this? So that's primarily why um, I would say anxiety has increased. Um, it's part of the reasons. There's a lot of reasons to be anxious because of the um, COVID pandemic. Do you think the yeah, way politicians and the media have communicated about the pandemic has made it worse? Is, is there a failure of communication in terms of health guidance and everything else? I'm, there have been um, in different levels, but uh, I would say that it has also increased awareness about the issue. Um, to really go into details of whether media covered it right or wrong would take a whole nother video. So probably not gonna dive into it here. But now that if you're aware that your stress levels and anxiety have increased because of the pandemic, there are still some things that you can do to try and cope with it, um, starting with media, right? So if you can reduce your uh, intake of media and take in information from reliable sources, um, it can help reduce your stress with changing guidance and contradictory information. And it can reduce your exposure to COVID related news, which constant exposure is not going to be good for your mental health when a lot of the news is not, um, it's not positive about the COVID pandemic. And keeping in mind things that are in your control, like you can continue to wear a mask if you'd like to, you can continue to wash your hands if you'd like to. And uh, it, it's hard to want to continue doing that when it seems like everyone else around you might stop doing it or slow down on it. But uh, focusing on those things within your control, making sure there's you find time to talk to people that you haven't spoken to, uh, to keep up your connections might be some ways to help cope with that anxiety. That's interesting. I'm, I'm also hoping that at some point the pandemic becomes endemic because that's how pandemics end, right? You don't the disease doesn't really go away. It's just that uh, it becomes endemic and it just becomes another disease. So the we can get there sooner if we vaccinate the world faster. So if you haven't gotten the vaccine and you can, please get it. And um, I know we have some influential listeners for this uh, show. So uh, Joe Biden, Boris Johnson, Olaf Scholz, if you guys are listening, uh, you know, convene the G7 again and find a way to vaccinate Africa and all these other countries where there's low vaccination rates. I think that would really help accelerate the end of the pandemic and hopefully there won't be any more super spreader variants coming up. Akshay? Yeah, uh, I totally agree with you. Uh, you know, the fact that you know, every time you know, like, you're like, okay, you know what? Things are getting better. It's fine, it's fine. And then like, a new variant comes in, you're like, again? And, you're, uh, and then you're, like, uh, you, you're already saturated with like, all the COVID views, and then you see it, and then you're, like, you really uh, feel like hopeless uh, when you see these things. And uh, you know, the anxiety definitely comes from there. But like, uh, as you know, Ilakya said, and as Deepak has said, uh, you know, both of you have said really good recommendations. So I would ask all the viewers to just like follow those things and Especially Joe Biden. hopefully, yeah, and hopefully you'll have a brand new tomorrow. See you then. Oh, you're still here? Well, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Hey, while you're still here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get new updates when we post videos. Also, make sure to check out these equally exciting videos as well. Have you pressed it yet? Come on, you have five seconds left. Three, two, press it now.